Hey, I'm Jackson Salvas. This right here is Melton Lake in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. And as you can see, it is a beautiful lake. Far out lake. It goes even farther than that. And a non-suspicious lake. A non-suspicious lake. Or should I take that back? Because there might be a monster lurking in this lake. And yes, you heard me. I said a monster lurking in this lake. Now look right here. You see that? That is tar. That somehow ended up on the ridge of Melton Lake in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. And if you look right there, what is this? It almost looks like a footprint, doesn't it? A footprint. And I know this footprint right here might not hold that much value, but you gotta remember, water could, has waved up to even over there, even over there. And when water wa waves up, it molded the footprint. And as you can see here, if you get really close, I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can e even see some patterns on it from scales of the Melton Monster. And that's what I'm calling it, the Melton Monster, because this is a Melton Lake. And there's believed to be a monster in here. And yes, you heard me. A monster in this lake. Man, that's pretty rock, isn't it? Very pretty. But let's not focus on that rock. Let's focus on the melted monster. Let's focus on the lake itself. Pretty, very pretty lake, as you can see. Um, and very big lake. It actually connects to a da dam in a whole other city. Wide and even long. <laughs> If you get that joke like the video, I'm just joking. Um, but um, as you can see here, it could hold a specimen. And it's even 300 hundred feet deep. Mini room. Big codfish. There's even been, been some. my knees so that's a pretty large fish and those are actually rare but there are some about this big to my arm to my hand those are pretty big and then, then from my hand to my arm right here so those could easily feed feed a mon monster such as the mountain monster and as you can see it's not seen in Oak Ridge that much because Melton Lake itself connects with another river. Which is pretty cool. It connects with the dam too. That's so right. The monster's wide space. And I'm not the first one to think there is a monster in here. There's been photos taken from people that believe there's a monster in here. There's been videos of the monster in, in here. here. Of course, they're fuzzy. Could be fake. But could be fake. They could be real. Wouldn't that be cool if if those pictures were were real? And I'm sure some are. But let's take a closer look at those photos. Let's take a closer look at the Melton Monster. What you just saw there was some pictures of the mountain monster. And I know what you're thinking. They were not the best pictures, but they did some good evidence. And I pointed out the facts 
and where it would be. Now, talk about something else. Now we are going to talk about the look. And the main picture we got the look off of. A picture you haven't seen yet. A picture I'm saving for the viewers to see. Yep. And not even that, we are going to go to the site where the picture was taken. That we, that people have based the look of the monster off of. Okay. So take a look for yourself. As you can see from the photograph, this is what lots of known cases have reported seeing. First, let's look at the head. Very dragon-like in a way like drawings of dragons you would see, but more of like a duckish beak. That's only one report. Some reports are seeing a dragon-like beak, or more of a mouth. And a long neck, but thick neck though, thick neck. And a thinner body than this, but there have been reports of a thick body. And the feet, which are kind of flipperish. Flipperish. The t tail is quite unknown, but uh, uh, the spottings of it, a monster. So there has been in a small amount of blackness on the end, so my guess is the tail would be small. And this would be the melted monster, right here. And then that's what it would come out to look like um, on the river. Somebody on the river, if they saw it, uh, they would most li likely to see the neck and. Some in the face, but sometimes they w will see the body, and then then some then the blackness, the feet, the feet eat, and there's been, and even some report where it's where it was off land land on one of these little islands on Melton Lake, like where people saw flipperish feet, and that's where they got the idea for the feet. But this would be the basics that you would see. As you can guess, it looks a lot like the Loch Ness Monster, but it is quite different. As you can, if you've ever seen a picture of the Loch Ness Monster, the Loch Ness Monster had a long, slender body, while this one has a ho almost like a horse like body. Yeah, could even be related to the Loch Ness Monster. But they are two separate things, according to reports of the look. And a picture that I based the look off of, off of the, it's along with the reports, of course, but the picture was, was a big part of it. And let's take a look at that picture and the place that the picture was taken. Let's go. As you can see here, this is where the picture was taken that you were just shown. As you can see, it is a wide place with lots of water, of course, that was dumb, but this is where the picture was taken and there's been one sighting before at this location. Alrighty, so there you have it. That was where that picture was taken. That large part of the lake, and of course the lake has large fish in it as always. So I think that's pretty cool. And that picture was pretty cool itself. And it gives a large portion of pie to the Melted Monster Exists Pie, which is 
my favorite pie. And the picture is also one of a good amount of pictures of the Mountain Monster, which also add a good slice of pie to the Mountain Monster Exist pie. And I think that's pretty cool. I think that is pretty cool. Now we're gonna focus on something that should be focused on. Where did the Melton Monster come from? Was it an experiment went wrong and then escaped to to Melton Lake? Or a pre-historical pre dinosaur. You gotta think of these things. But I've read a good theory online and supported by doctors with PhDs in cryptology. And that theory is that the mo Hanser came for, from the labs and such that maybe the experiments on the bomb in Oak Ridge in the 40s, which makes Oak Ridge called the Atomic City. I find that interesting. Maybe radiation poisoned, poisoned uh, a lake creature that was already there. Maybe something small. Maybe something that was already known. Oh, poisoned it. Mutated it. Mutated more than one of them. So, and they breeded. Creating a small, but also large at the same time. Making a medium sized monster and so that's a good theory of where it came from other ones are that it was historical dinosaur left behind still existing like the mesaurus mesaurus i said that wrong but that's what it's called or Another type of water dinosaur. And then there's some theories that go so far, far that it is an alien creature. But you know what I think it is? I think it is the Melton Monster. And that's it. Where did it come from? Melton Lake. It's been, oh, how long has it been living there? Maybe a while, maybe a couple years, maybe 10 years. But reports have been coming out very recently, in fact, over the last seven years. So, that's my theory. My theory is that it's the Melton Monster, and we don't know where it came from. Or wherever it came from. It was a dark and eluded place. Maybe the labs. Maybe the labs actually created it. Get pieces, DNA, pieces of DNA, and merge them, creating a new species then it escaped and went in Melton Lake could have been that but when it all gets down to it the Melton Monster is the Melton Monster so there's lots of stories of the Melton Monster and all of them are quite interesting Lots of them involve a woman in a pier. Or more on a pier. Looking and see 
you can stop something come out of the water. Some involve a fisherman who who lo looked and saw something shrieking through the water and then slowly disappears into the waters. But there's one that is very interesting. So interesting, it's going to be the story of the mountain monster, the true story of the mountain monster that I will tell you. Are you ready? Let's start. I just want to tell you, the way I got this story was not easy. I learned it from my friend's dad. He he said at his own fa father on, on the year 2008 saw all the beast. One of the first accountsments to didn't write about it but was more scared. He told his family though his family and the family involves my friend's dad my friend's dad told his son and his son told me but his dad overheard me hearing the story so the dad told me the whole story of course the dad's fa father is long old and doesn't want to be annoyed. So I'll just tell you the story. In the year 2008, an old fisherman by, by the name of Richard Montezza was on his old fishing boat. Not, nothing much, of course. It was old, ragged. But he, he was going to catch some cod, which were pretty big in the Mountain Lake, population-wise, and pretty big in size, too. And while he was on his boat, he looked. His son said he looked to the right. He looked to the right and saw something, something on one of, of the little islands, very little, surrounded by trees and such. There are about two of them in the Melton Lake. Very little, but there is wildlife there. But let me get back to the story. So, so old Richard the fisherman looked and saw all something. Described it as monstrous. Long-ish neck, big head, feet that w went back like flippers kind of like a horse's body but kind of like a fish she's skin on a horse's body he did not get to see the teeth but he was sure they were there you, you saw it for, for a minute but a bit, then the monster r r ran and got in the water the monster swam under and then old Richard couldn't see him by him I mean the monster could have been her but old Richard did not see the monster after that and after that ex incident more appearances starting to ready to erupt like guy eyes on peers spotting it or little kid Kids saying they saw something, but nobody believed those people. Their stories weren't quite tacked like Richard's. But one question is, do you believe it? And another question is, do I believe it? To be honest, I do. Because the Melton Monster is real. And the islands would be a perfect place for the Melton Monster to hang out, maybe eat some grass. I think so. But what do you think? Well, here we are again to talk about the mountain monster. And this time we're gonna talk about 
What will happen if the Mountain Monster died? But first we would have to talk about how you, you or a person could kill a monstrous beast such as the Mountain Monster. And then you got to tell yourself, are you brave enough to hunt and kill the mountain monster? And if you are, how? The question is rightly simple. It's hard to kill it. It's only one person's ever tried, and it was a hunter. Saw it. Sh shot it sit said Ed Ed he did by that I mean he shot it but it just went back under of course he said he shot it near, near the back back leg um and that couldn't have done much damage but it did slow him down so Maybe a bullet into the neck, or, or chest area, or a couple bullets maybe, maybe to actually kill it. Maybe that would kill it, or maybe a nice typhoon right into to the chest would kill it. And I know this is graphic, but you gotta think, think about the facts here. If you ever would kill it, and I don't want anybody to kill the mountain monster he's a respected monster and he's not done any harm but it, if anybody would kill him that might be the way to do it now to the other subject and that other subject is what would happen if the mountain monster died say a hunter saw him he had a typhoon or a gun I do not know why he would have a tapoon. You know, one of those those large s spears and on a rope and then you shoot it. It's, that's what a tapoon is. Just to tell anybody that did not know. But say he had a tapoon or a gun. He shot out the mountain monster in the chest with either of those objects. And, and then he... And then... The guy heard a panic cry, and the mountain monster went under. Well, he would most likely, for something as big as that, he would most like, likely try to go find it underwater. And if he did find it, he, that man would use it for publicity. Or, if he did not do that, it would just be there to the oh, mountain monster started to get big. And then people would start to see it again. Then researchers will, will go down there and they might find it. And then they will get publicity for it. So that's the answer to what will ha happen if the mountain monster died. Or in another scenario, nobody finds him. The hunter can't couldn't find him or he did not choose to find him. The researchers just could not find him and it just sit there for for all the fish to admire weird thought isn't it really weird now to end this documentary that I've made with lots of pauses between my voice I'm going to end it with asking the audience, and by that I mean the people watching this documentary, this fan documentary. I'm going to ask you guys, do you believe there's a monster that lives in Oak Ridge's Lake by the name of Melton Lake? And the monster's name is the Mo Melton Monster. It lurks, lurks in the waters. It goes to the island only sometimes. But altogether, the monster is monstrous. Now, I want you to think about that. Think about the question I just asked you. 
Now, do you, my friends, believe in the mountain monster? I, I certainly do. But, think about it one more time. Now, answer it. Bye, fans. The Melton Monster. By people that just learned about the Melton Monster. And by every. And by to everyone that watched this fan documentary. Bye, and see you another day.